Hello and good morning. My name is Shaz and this is Shazness Wellness. Today's video is going to be what I eat in a day but high carbs. So just to give you a brief background about me and my health story, I used to have candida, leaky gut, irritable bowel syndrome, and I also have PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome. So I had a few years of candida cleansing, really low carb diets, and because I have PCOS, I'm insulin sensitive, so having high carbs have been an issue for me. Um, but now I'm slowly and happily enjoying carbs again. Fruits for the win. There was a time where I thought I could never eat fruits again. So if you are doing a candida cleanse or you have PCOS and you frighten about eating carbs, I just want to show you that there is hope. There is a time that you can hopefully enjoy fruits and carbs again. I always remain gluten-free, dairy-free, and refined sugar-free. Um, it's just what suits me best in my uh, stomach, in my digestion, and my skin. So it's a Sunday, it's a high carb day. When you're eating the carb, say thank you to the food for providing you with energy. At the end of the day, healing is a combination of mental health, stress management, self-love, nutrition, supplementation, and just like overall lifestyle, like if you move or if you sit on a couch all day. So as I said, I just woke up, it's a Sunday. Starting my day with like a glass of like room temperature warm water. I don't put it in the fridge. Anything cold is really not good for digestion. Either way, I start my day with some type of fluid. For now, it's been water. Then the second thing that I've been doing and enjoying is watermelon. Watermelon's been on sale, so I've been buying it and enjoying it in the morning as a treat. It has been Lovely. So I am not a pro at buying watermelon yet. This is my third watermelon I've ever bought in my life. I just tap it like I act like I know what I'm doing and yeah. So I'm gonna cut a little piece and enjoy this as like a morning snack before my breakfast. Hola. So that watermelon went through my body very quickly and I'm hungry and I feel like savory. So I'm gonna show you my favorite go-to wrap that is gluten-free and awesome and quick. Yeah, my words ran out there. Okay, so I buy these brown rice wraps. Okay, so this is the frozen rice wrap that I just showed you guys. This is some organic chicken that I have already cooked. So I'm just gonna pretty much add all of this, I think. Yep, okay, this is the organic mustard that I use. Some probiotics, cause hashtag gut health. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna add that. This is my favorite uh, vegan cheese by Daea. Yeah, vegan, gluten-free, soy-free, good stuff. And some washed lettuce. So I'm just gonna warm this up in the microwave for about un minute. Boop. And a trick with these wraps is to fry them uh, because they don't stay together really well. When you fry them in like avocado oil or coconut oil, it just keeps it really well together and I'll show you that. So I'm just gonna heat this up to about like a medium. Take this off, give her a good spray down. Oh, so this just came out the microwave. It's a lot easier to bend and fold and it is warm. Then I pretty much just add my mustard. Don't judge me. Then I'll add my cheese. Kind of sprinkle it on there. Sad days, it's over. Then I'll add some lettuce. <coughs> and then some 
probiotic or sauerkraut on the top. I just use my fingers because I'm disgusting. And no one else uses this. Brayden hates fermented anything, so. <laughs> More mustard? What do you think? Yeah, let's do it. More mustard. Boom. Okay. So I just wrap it up. I'm trying to get my fingers dirty. Oh, it's done. Okay. Wrap it up. Boom. And then I fry it just to keep this part together and so it's easier to eat. So I just fry it in my warmed pan here. All right, looking delicious. You really only need to fry each side for about like two to three minutes. Again, just so it hardens and it comes like a nice toasted burrito. Voila. And I like my food extra salty and because it's a little bit oily, I like to add a little bit of pink Himalayan sea salt on the top. So I definitely should put this in a shaker, but to be honest, I'm lazy and I just don't do it. So I just pray for the best and I pray I don't over salt here. And I just, I think I've mastered the technique here. Beautiful, boom. I'm very excited. Okay, so Brandon's just washing the dishes just from breakfast, because I made him his Sunday gluten-free, dairy-free pancakes and like eggs extravaganza. Um, but I'm kind of just like bored waiting for him and I'm nervous eating. I have a really big surprise to share with you. Well, I have two really big surprises to share with you in September and I can't wait to share them with you. But we're actually planning one of the surprises today. I'm just gonna have a handful of like pistachios. They're just salted pistachios um, while I wait for him to be done dishes. I think we're gonna watch one episode of Brooklyn Nine-Nine because that is our Netflix show right now. Uh, yeah, and then we're gonna get to it, get to work. Can't wait to share a surprise with you. I just woke up from the most glorious nap, but I woke up starving. I didn't think I would sleep so long. Um, it's about like 4.40 and I haven't really eaten lunch. Um, and I'm starving. Like I have no time or patience to wait for anything. And I actually bought something for the first time yesterday. Let me show you. It is this gluten-free, uh, dairy-free burrito. Um, I've always seen them in the health food section and I never bothered to get it because when I had irritable bowel syndrome, I always avoided beans. It just really upset in my stomach. The last few weeks I've been experimenting with chili and yeah, I fart like a few times, but I'm not in like terrible bent over pain. Um, so there is two ways to cook this. You can either bake it in the oven for like an hour, and I hate using the microwave, guys. I, I never use it, um, but ain't nobody got time for that, and I'm starving. So it says it only takes like a couple minutes in the microwave, so I'm definitely gonna do that option. So yeah, it's this brown rice, or bean and rice burrito. Give it a try. Okay, so burrito update. Um, I decided to microwave it for a minute and I already started feeling bad. I was like, I cannot warm this entire thing up in the microwave. So I just did it for a minute just to kind of soft it and defrost it. And now I just put it in the toaster oven here um, to give it a little bit of a toast. And also it looks sad being soggy. Like I like, I like a toasty burrito. So anyways, I'm toasting that, but as I'm toasting that, um, I've been trying out this like really cool vegan chipotle yogurt sort of kind of sauce, and I thought it would go really, really well with this uh, dish. And then I thought that, that little burrito is super small, and I kind of want some veggie on the side. So I think what I'm gonna do is show you this new dip that I've created for myself, and cut up some cucumbers to eat on the side. So I'm gonna show you this dip. So the ingredients you need for this dip is uh, coconut yogurt. This is plain and that's important. You don't want to get vanilla. It is vegan, gluten-free, like all that kind of good stuff. Uh, a slice of lemon, 
some onion powder, smoked paprika. You can use paprika, but smoked paprika is what's gonna give it that really like pop flavor. Some salt and some hot sauce. I am so sad, this is like the end. I forgot to add this to the list. But pretty much, I'm gonna show you guys how I just mix this all together into a really delicious sauce. Time. I just also cut up some cumbers for the side here. I'm so excited. It's gonna be delicious. Okay, so I don't know if I'm bored eating or I'm craving something sweet, but either way, I'm listening. I have two nectarines. I think that's what these are the peaches. Yeah. So I should know my fruits. Um, but it's National Dog Day, so I just want to give my shout out to Simba. We love you. Maybe I'll give him a little, a little peach. I have no idea what we're gonna eat for dinner. What do you want for dinner? I'm sorry, mm -hmm. I'm mm. For now, this is happening. I missed fruit. All right, it is dinner time. And I think based on my eating today, it's a little backwards. I woke up feeling savory and now I'm craving like a breakfast thing. So Simba, I am vlogging. I think I really feel like oh, Simba is in a playful mood, of course, right when I record. Okay, we have to get this guy because he was just loud. But then I asked, I was like, is it Simba's fault or did you initiate a play fight? And he initiated and I told him I need two minutes. <sighs> but anyways, his food is ready. I made him a burger, but that's ugh, not what I feel like at all. So I'm making peanut butter and jelly oats. You may leave now, goodbye. But with sunflower seed butter and no jelly, just organic, fresh um, blueberries that I bought, but they're frozen. So it's gonna work really good for this oatmeal deliciousness. comments and I'm sorry that I haven't been as responsive on comments I've just been so busy just planning these few secret projects that I can't wait to share with you in the next couple of weeks so definitely stay tuned for that and with this video I just wanted to show you that there is hope you know you can make friends with carbs especially whole food carbs like I know I might not be able to eat sugar maybe ever again maybe once in a while as a treat but I know I won't be able to eat like Nutella like I used to. So I did suffer with candida for many years. I do have PCOS and I do live a good 
healthy life, like the best for myself and I'm happy with it. I know I'll never have perfectly clear skin and if I do, then that's amazing. Like I'll be super happy about that. Um, but I just wanted to send you all some love and some healing vibes. And again, thank you guys so much for everything and all of your support. Like it means so much to me. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and subscribe to my channel because I make videos every Wednesday. XO, XO, Shazness Wellness. Bye friends from me and Simi. Thank you.